Yeah, it's good. Um, definitely want to make sure that my last few starts on the stretch here are sharp and um, yeah, it's good. A pretty good left pad save on Kachuk in the first period. So how did that play develop? Um, oh, in the power play there. Um, yeah, just I mean, shot from the point and scramble. Um, you know, they, on their power play, they they got the guys on the flank coming down the the backside pretty good. So um, just something to be aware of and ended up getting a piece of it. Did you realize how long it's been since you had a shot? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> how good does it feel to be back in that that position to see stopped all the pucks and uh, you know, that you ran Yeah, I mean. Try to stop them all every night, so it doesn't always work out that way. But um, yeah, it feels good. How about the team performance in front of you? Step in the right direction after the way things have been the last handful of games. Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, I know we we've had some meetings the last day or two. Um, you know, just making sure that we're all bought in here the last stretch, and um, definitely a, a step in the right direction. I thought our compete was a lot better, and. Um, you know, I, I thought our PK was really good, so um, those are good things. Is it different for you when you've got two young guys back there that one in his first game, one in his third game, and goalie's responsible for a lot of communication? Do you find yourself doing a lot of that with the young guys? Um, not overly. I, I don't really notice too much. Um, you got to trust whoever's in, and um, I thought they were good tonight, so having any issues with them, uh, just you know, play every game uh, the same regardless of who's in. Going back to meetings, like you said, coach was saying that you kind of stepped up in, in terms of being a real leader inside this locker room. Is that the role that you feel like you're taking on? Yeah, I mean, I feel, um, you know, established enough now to um, to be a little bit more vocal. Obviously, I'm not the, the chattiest guy in the world, um, but I don't think the guys expect that from me. So, um, more of a guy that tries to lead by work ethic and showing up to the rink every day ready to go and um, you know if something needs to be said I, I don't mind um, talking to the guys I, I trust all the guys in here I think it's a it's a good group I've been around a lot of them for a long time and um, yeah it's something I'd, I'd, I'd like to be speaking of leadership what do you make of Quinn sort of stepping up and defending himself there in the third period yeah it was great um, it's good to see you know obviously the crowd was into it after that um, <laughs> Some nifty camera work there, um, panning between the two guys. But uh, yeah, it was, it was good to see. I know the team likes seeing that from from a guy like that for sure. Since you've come back, you've seen mental pressure, I suppose, this is my favorite part of the season. Has that been about how you've been playing, or has that been it's a bit of a chicken and the egg scenario? Is it about you know, coming to the rink feeling in a way? Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't necessarily feel that. So. Um, I mean, not that I'm mentally tired or anything. I just I don't really think about that too much. So, um, regardless if it's game 15 or game whatever game tonight was, 77 or whatever it was, um, try to have the same mentality. Non-game related, but have you been approached yet by Team USA? What are your thoughts on playing with them? Um, yeah, I, I've talked to them. Um, my wife uh, she'll actually be around seven months pregnant um, at that time, so. Um, talked to her about it, talked to our families, and just wanted to be around in case, you know, something goes sideways, and obviously she'll be, uh, you know, pretty uh, pretty in the thick of things there at that point, so I want to be around for her and helping her out, so um, I don't think it's going to be in the cards this year. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> she needs advice, call Gemma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I thought Denver played really well. I mean, um, you know, sh Chicago, they played hard. I thought we were just okay. I mean, yeah, it's nice to win and uh, break the. Or we lost two, what, three or four in a row, so it's nice to win. But you know, I still think that we got some cleanup to do. Speaking of Demko, were you aware of how long it had been since this club got a shine? No, I haven't. No, I just wanted. I, I really wanted Denver. Even our goal is to to, to get a shutout. Like you know, I think they deserved the the shutout. But I mean, he worked hard tonight, Demmer. Crafts off score has got a bounce there, but five hits on the night. Is that as invested as he's been for you? you yeah, yeah. He uh, actually that line was uh, got him out there a little bit more than we got some penalties in power play, but I uh, thought that that line actually was pretty good tonight for what us. Did, what did you make of McWard in his first game? Yeah, there's like I, I keep I know it's a broken record. There's something there. Like he's a big kid. He's going to even get thicker. The footy we were talking about that right-handed shot. Um, 
He's got some. He's got some good skill. Um, there's something there, you know. Um, the, the, and, and Keto too. Like I liked his game tonight, tonight too. Like that's, a smart kid. That's what I was going to say. You said that about Hirose. Too. Yeah. Does he show you more and more with every passing game? Well, I just under pressure, he makes. You know, he he he's, he's really knows how to use the net as his friend. You know how to hide himself if on a forecheck. Um, that's what I see out of him. On McWard, like he took seven hits tonight, and he seems to be a type of player that knows how to take a hit to make a play. Is that what you saw from him as well? Yeah, usually college is more a lot of hits and scrambly, but uh, yeah, you know, and I think when the game gets a little bit, um, he'll get up to speed of the game. He'll probably be able to, you know, get in those situations where he may not get hit as much. But yeah, no, sometimes as a, in a breakout, you got to absorb hits to, 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 to take a breakout, um, and he did that. So has it been better each game? I mean, it's yeah, I just think his hockey IQ. When you you know, I'm a big, you know, it's like uh, I rather sometimes have an average skill guy with high uh, hockey IQ than the, the the opposite. I'm being serious. Like this guy's got. I'm not saying he's an average skill. He's got good skill. I'm just saying he's got a really good hockey IQ. So a smaller guy like that can survive. What do you think of Quinn going Terminator there at the end? Yeah, I, I didn't even see what happened, but uh, he was pretty strong there with a the headlock. <laughs> that, was pretty, that was pretty good. I, I, I don't know what happened there. Do you like to see someone stand up for himself? Yeah, I think, yeah. Like, Husey's a competitive guy, you know, so it doesn't surprise me him going in there and doing that. When you, you know, you said uh, to us that Krausov has to show that he can play, so I presume you've challenged him, like, in your meetings as well. So did you see tonight as a response? Well, it's a step in the right direction. You know, it's, a, it's an inch going up. You know what I mean? I think he has to. And the next day you practice. You got to practice hard. You, like it's just not a one and done thing. You got to you got to do it consistently in this league, and you got you got to show it. In fairness to the Blackhawks, you know, that's a team that's looking past this season. Yeah. How, how difficult it is to get your team off when you're facing an opponent. That's well, I'm a like Luke. Luke Rich is a close friend of mine. He's got that team playing hard. They play hard. They worked hard tonight. So I have a lot of respect for for what Luke's done there. You know. They've had different guys in and out of the roster. You know, they're rebuilding, but uh, they play hard. So, uh, you know, I, I just, you got to respect every opponent if that we, is, we do. If this is Jonathan Tate's last game, what's he meant to the league? Yeah, I, I, I'm a big fan. Just the way he plays the game, a 200-foot game. I love 200-foot hockey players. And uh, I think I was saying to you guys this morning, you know, it's a luxury to have guys like that as a coach. You know, uh, when they won the three cups, you know, he's going out there, you know, Last minute of a game, we win a big draw. He's out the power play. He's, he's first guy in a penalty kill. He plays a 200-foot game. You know, he's up there. You know, Bergeron, him, all those guys. They're uh, that's why they win, champions. Going back to Demko, what's he meant to this team since he came back from injury? But just he's just a, you know just solid. You know, he like even some of the saves he made. I think they were. Great A saves, but their routine, like he was, he just looked big in the net tonight. It looked like nothing was going to get by him, you know, even when they had that couple of backdoor chances and he was there uh, post to post. Um, but his, he was just, I think, you know, give him a couple of days too to, to rest too really helped him too. What have you learned about him that keeps him at this level? I didn't know he worked this, like, I didn't know much about him, uh, but how much, how hard he works. Like uh, in the gym, on the ice, you know, he's with Clarky a lot in his office watching video. I, I didn't, I mean, I knew obviously he was a top goalie, but I, I didn't know the work ethic he had and, and leadership qualities. Like he's, he's, uh, he's one of the, he's one of the leaders. I, I, I should mention him more. And when I talked to the leadership group, he's in that leadership group for sure for me. He said he might yesterday, I think that he would choke you out if you didn't let yeah, him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He couldn't actually yeah. take you though, could he? Uh, I, I, no, now I'm almost 60. He could probably take me now, but yeah, no, he, listen, he, he, he wants to play, um, you know, and obviously I'm, I'm going to manage his minutes, but, uh, you know, this is a, a good game for him to play. He played great. You know, obviously he was the first start of it. If you, if you do come in camp in shape, there'll be a problem. Generational talent. Thanks for liking the video and subscribing.